What's up guys, it's Mike Sherrard and today I want to show you and explain to you exactly how to properly use YouTube channel art. YouTube channel art is a very underutilized aspect of your YouTube channel and I want to break down four things that you can do in order to get the best results from your channel art as well as how you can properly design it. I'm going to take you into my screen, break it down, show you how you can easily design a very powerful YouTube channel art but also show you some examples of what we've done in order to paint a picture of what it looks like when it's complete for various different industries and how you can actually increase subscribers, increase viewership, and actually increase your income from your channel art as well. This is stuff that not many people are showing you and a lot of people are overlooking. So what I'm gonna do now is break it down for you and share my screen and show you exactly how to properly use your YouTube channel art. All right guys, so what I wanna break down first is understanding a bit more about the channel art, how to create it, and the importance of keeping it consistent, how to monetize it, and how to get more subscribers by using a channel art properly. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm just gonna quickly break down a couple of examples and how to easily design a YouTube channel art, and then I'm gonna show you some examples of how to properly leverage it in order to create income, get more subscribers, get more views. So traditionally, if people wanna design a YouTube channel art, all they have to do is come to something like Canva, and then if you wanna type in something like YouTube, you can see here that you can already choose a pre-selected sizing of a YouTube channel art. So if you select this, you can go blank or you can choose different templates. And now it's already got the right sizing requirements for you to design your YouTube channel art. Now, what I wanna explain is that you do need to look at the secondary requirements because this is the full sizing. However, whenever you're doing your YouTube channel art, you need to realize that only a portion is going to show on your channel similar to what we have here so this is a different requirement if you google it you can start to see what those sizing requirements are but you can build out a pre-templated version of your channel art and then when you want to start designing it all you have to do is upload some images which you can see with your uploads here and here's a bunch of examples of different channel arts that we've done for different people so you can see examples like this which is showing a guy that's working with us right now. And this is what's gonna show up on YouTube. And above and below, the reason why this space is here is for TV. So traditionally, when YouTube was just for mobile and desktop, it only allowed you to put a channel art that this size. But now that people can use YouTube on their TV, that's why this extra spacing is above and below. So what I wanna do right now is I'm actually gonna pull up an example of what this looks like because I want you to see the entirety of the image. This right here is an example of a full size thumbnail or channel art for YouTube where you can see the space above and the space below. So if somebody was looking on a TV, they would see this in its entirety. However, looking at this from a YouTube perspective on mobile and desktop, you would just see this portion here. Now on mobile, you even see less. So let me break it down for you and show you some important things you need to know about your channel art. So the first thing is brand consistency. Now what I explained about that is you can see here on my channel, my branding is purple with some gold accents as well as black and white. So that's the theme that you'll see in my channel art, but you also see consistent amongst different YouTube thumbnails. So that when people see one of my thumbnails, they're gonna recognize my channel and that's gonna create strong brand consistency across the board. So one thing that you want to do is make sure that your channel art is consistent with your branding on point as well as other channels. So what I do personally is I take this and I reformat it for Facebook cover and LinkedIn cover so that no matter where people find me, they're always going to see a consistent image across the board and see that it's very brand heavy and see that I'm actually got my stuff put together. Now, the second thing you need to do is make sure that you communicate what your channel is about. So a lot of people will just put their name and that's it. But why are people on your channel? Why would be people wanting to be subscribing to your channel and staying here? You can see that if people want to learn about branding, social media, content marketing, this is the type of content that I share on my channel. Also, I do help entrepreneurs dominate their industry using scalable high converting content to increase their impact, influence, and income. I help people with these things. So if you're interested in any of that, you might want to stick around to my channel. I'll show you a couple of other examples. These are some of the channel arts we've designed for a number of different people. So you can see that this is a public speaker in the network marketing space. So a bit about his core values, real, raw, authentic, entrepreneurship, leadership, and self-improvement is the content that he shares. 
Taking 100% personal responsibility for life is the only path to greatness. A bit about the type of content and style of his stuff. You can see here, founder, human resource, or human performance collective. So he helps fitness studio owners elevate performance and leadership and management using innovative strategies. You've got mine. You've got different realtors. You've got different people in different industries like digital marketing and social media. So it's important to convey exactly why people should be sticking with your channel in order to get more subscribers. Now, this is the biggest one is leveraging this for a call to action. Now, I like this because it gives you a couple different opportunities and not many people are leveraging this space properly. So right now on the right hand side, you can see where my screen is over here. You can see that I have new videos every week, so subscribe because traditionally the subscribe button is right below there. So you can use that as a call to action. However, it's also pointing to my website, high converting content. So if people click this, they'll end up coming to my website and see all the different services that we offer for the people that we worked with, with our big eight, nine figure entrepreneurs, working with content repurposing, all the different services we offer. And that's a great way to have a call to action. Now, if you have an ebook, if you've got a course, if you've got coaching, if you've got products, put some information over here with an arrow down and drive people to the link here. It's a great way to increase monetization and it's a great way to leverage this space as a call to action to drive more action, which otherwise it would have just been left as a blank space. Now the final things, and I already mentioned this before, is looking at how you can remain consistent with Facebook. So if we pull up my Facebook here, as well as my LinkedIn, what you're going to see is that my images are very consistent across the board. So if we come to my profile on LinkedIn, you're gonna see that it's a very similar, just reformatted version of my YouTube channel art, which shows similar stuff about why people would be wanting to connect with me on LinkedIn. On Facebook, you're going to see, again, very similar styling so that it's consistent across the board. That's a lot of what people are doing wrong is they're not using consistency between their channel art and their thumbnails. They're not presenting information as to why people should be subscribing to their channel and why they should stay tuned for more videos. They're not leveraging the space over here for a call to action in order to attract clients, monetize it, and drive more action for subscribers and the like and they're not being consistent across the board where they might have a really cool channel art, but very lackluster Facebook and LinkedIn cover images, or the opposite is even more popular where they've got good Facebook images and LinkedIn images, but they're lacking on YouTube. So it's important to understand that it's very easy to create very incredible channel arts like we've done for so many people. And if you do wanna reach out and have us design one for you, that's no problem, we can easily do that. But it's important to leverage this properly so you can make sure that you're getting the most out of your channel art. If you have any other questions, please make sure to drop a comment below. Otherwise, thanks so much for tuning in. Always, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you next time.